Bam! Today's tune is one of the new cars added in 1.26, which is the BMW M2 competition from 2018. Anyone subscribed to the channel knows I'm a BMW fan, and this car in real life is incredible. It's basically a stripped down M4 with a smaller frame. This video is going to cover a tune, some highs and lows of the car, and my overall thoughts on the M2 and GT7. I tuned this car to 700 performance points in order to use it as a moneymaker, and I'll likely use this car as one of my dailies for the foreseeable future. This car is solid. Highlights include its handling, it's incredibly stable. You can toss it into a corner with confidence, and on any short track with multiple corners, this car will perform incredibly well. In terms of the opportunities, I find the car not quite as fast in the top end as I expected. It'll still compete, but given its status in real life, my assumption was this thing would destroy a lot of cars with its lightweight frame, weight imbalance, and large engine output. It holds its own. It's easily competitive at 600 to 700 performance. I was just hoping it had a bit more on the top end. Now, you could further adjust this tune, maybe keep some of the weight on it and put some more effort into the engine, but I prefer my tunes to focus on suspension, the LSD and aero, and weight reduction first as a priority, prior to adjusting the power. So take my suggestions on the tune with a grain of salt, this car might actually benefit from a larger power investment and work somewhat backwards on the rest. That being said, I'm going to take you through the details and give you my feedback on the tune. I was easily able to win Le Mans on this multiple times, even in good weather, so it's still more than enough to compete, and it looks good, and overall it's a great addition to your garage. So a bit about the M2 competition. It's a rear-wheel drive extreme version of the stock car, with a 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged S55 engine. Again, that engine is taken directly from the M3 or the M4. It's got aggressive bodywork and it's much smaller than its big brothers. It's 176 inches in length, which is nearly identical to an E36 M3. The car has great control and is truly a driver's car. I believe they captured that feeling great in game. The stock car honestly handles really good. So this car is lightweight, delivers over 404 horsepower, and likes to stay high in the rev band to showcase its performance. The M2 is a great addition, it's something new, and in my testing and tunes for other cars similar, notably the M4, I'd actually say the M2 is on parity. It's a fun drive. So let's get into the tune and talk about performance. So the stat changes from stock. The horsepower is now 506. This new car has 446 pounds of torque. It's still relatively lightweight, weighs just over 2,500 pounds. Acceleration, top speed, and cornering are all improved from stock. And this tune just has a few permanent upgrades as it's fairly powerful stock. So these include weight reduction stage three and increased body rigidity. I also did engine balance and polished ports. For performance parts, the car maintains racing hard tires, fully customized suspension, a one-way LSD, a full control computer, power restrictor and ballast, fully customized manual transmission, and racing components including air filter, muffler, exhaust manifold, brakes and pads, and a brake ballast controller. As you can see from the tune, it's basically got type A aero across the board. I didn't do any massive custom wing or anything like that. I kept it relatively stock. So for adjustments, the bulk of work on this tune goes into the suspension, making the car a bit more responsive. I've adjusted the ride height, damping, natural frequency, and camber. I've also added a small amount to tow out to help it in the corners quicker. The LSD, as mentioned, is a one-way LSD because the car is super stable, so this means we can get as much power as possible down through the drivetrain. The transmission does have some manual tuning to it as well, so pause the video if you want the exact gear ratios. It's tuned to maximize the Le Mans straight of Field Map 6, so feel free to adjust it if you want to try on the track slightly differently or you want to use it on another course. So overall, it's a fun car to drive. It's been represented well in game. Even if I personally feel it should have slightly better performance, it's still solid. So I love the looks of the M2, the engine being out of the M4 is just amazing, and its handling is incredible. It's really a capable car. I'll likely buy a few of them to have different parts fitted for different races, because it's not that expensive, and honestly it'll be a pretty reliable build. So for the race strategy for Le Mans, adjust your fuel mapping 6 out of the gate and target 3 full laps. The economy on this tune is actually pretty good, so there's really no need to short shift. I'd recommend you keep both wet and intermediate tires on the car, just so you have options for the race and can adjust accordingly. As always, you'll need to adjust for weather. You will need two pit stops for this race, and on the final few laps, you can go full tilt at fuel might be one and push the cars to its limits. In my testing, I was able to get both rain and dry Le Mans circuits, and the car handles great, so you'll hold your time on the straights and still be a parity with most of the other cars on the track. You'll gain a bunch of time on the corners, and near the end of the race, when you can run on better fuel mapping, you'll dominate easily and put down your best laps. This car is available from the brand dealership. It's really cheap for the performance. It's only 91,000 credits, so that's really a steal for what you get here. 
meaning any player, new or old, can pick this thing up easily, spec it for grinding, and easily make enough money to buy bigger and better things shortly. In terms of livery, there's no special livery on this car. I just painted it a slightly different color. There already are like 20 pages of M2 liveries, so feel free to check it out. I will be making a custom livery for this car, similar to the engine swapped M3 I have, as I just love the look and feel of those vehicles. So it'll be white with classic BMW performance badge in color, so stay tuned for that down the road. But I hope you enjoy this tune and this car finds a spot in your garage. If you like these tunes, please like and comment below. It greatly helps with the channel growth on YouTube and it helps steer me in the right direction for content. If you're looking to connect with others gaming in general, you might want to join our 22 Gaming Discord. If you're looking for more info on GT7, tunes, or gaming in general, it's a great community. As always, thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.